welcome to the Sci-Fi Invasion. I'm your host, Joey Hollywood, and I'm trying to get through all 50 movies in this 50 movie box set from Mill Creek in 50 weeks. And guess what? We're on the last disc. We're on movie, what is it, 47? 47. We're almost there. Uh, the movie I watched today was Rotor from 1988. I was a little excited about this movie, unfortunately, because uh, Screen Factory had released it a few years back as part of a double feature. It was also featured on Riff Tracks. I'd never seen it before, but that gave me hope that this was some sort of cult classic, and perhaps it is. But I was expecting a bit more from it, because, I, I don't know, it just seemed like if a movie gets that much fanfare, maybe there's something to it. I guess there is something to it, is a combination of The Terminator, Robocop, and Judge Dredd. All kind of rolled into one. Now you take all those movies and rolled into one, you think, that sounds pretty awesome, right? Well, you would think that. Now imagine all those movies with all, with all the cool stuff just ripped from it. <laughs> imagine uh, a majority of those movies being long sequences of musical numbers where people are just eating and talking, but you can't hear them because the music's playing too loud. Imagine the action sequences having no intensity or caring about any of the characters. Now you have Rotor. Yeah, it, it really sucks. One of the few things in the movie I really liked was the stop motion robot skeleton, the, the Terminator skeleton. Uh, it reminded me a lot of the uh, the prototype for RoboCop 2 in the movie RoboCop 2, the one who rips his head off. Uh, it, it was similar to that in its aesthetic, and it, but it, just imagine this a million times cheaper because it was so choppy. The main character of the movie is this like scientist, but they try to make him, they play him off like a badass, but it, it, it just comes off silly. And there's like a there's like a shootout at one point in the movie, and it doesn't progress the plot at all. It just is like, oh yeah, this guy's pretty cool. And this is before the the RoboCop escapes and starts killing indiscriminately. But like they try to set him off like he's this cool character, but he's so peripheral for most of the movie. And then he becomes like a major player later on, but it just it doesn't feel earned there at the beginning because it's like, okay, what does any of this have to do? There's also another RoboCop. That's like a goofy comic relief character, but none of it, none of what he does is funny. Uh, but like, it does start get start getting interesting towards the end of the movie when the RoboCop finally escapes and he starts killing indiscriminately. Um, he just starts blowing. He, he bl like, there's this car and it's speeding, and the RoboCop pulls it over and just blows the guy away. Like, oh, your your speeding sentence is death. And it's up to the cool scientist guy to capture him because the RoboCop is just on a mission of death to kill the passenger of the car that was speeding. So most of the movie is a chase movie of trying to get this girl. The RoboCop is trying to get the girl and the scientist and like his muscly sidekick chick is uh, chasing the RoboCop. It has the makings of a cool movie, but it just... It, it's so boring. I, it's, it's definitely one you could watch with friends and be more entertained, but if you watched it the way I did, after watching, like, what, 46 other movies before it, and, and watching it alone, not the ideal way to watch this movie. I'm sure this movie's fantastic with riff tracks, um, but just on its own, it was, it was a slog to get through. Would I recommend it? Not really, unless you have friends or riff tracks. That's about it. I, I did not enjoy this one, um, unfortunately. Uh, I, I'm not sure if that's coming from like a real place or just a place of me being kind of burnt out from this little experiment, but that, that's the way I feel currently. Maybe I'll feel differently in the future, who knows. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember, please be kind and rewind.